and welcome back to Like a Dragon. We're gonna go take on this Subsoria. Honestly, Ayami Kun, you can't do anything without your senpai. What kind of tour guide goes the wrong way? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's going on over there? I don't know if you're nervous or what, but trouble our customers like that again and you're fired! This next one is your last chance. Make sure you know your stuff! Uh, if I get fired in front of my parents, my life will be totally ruined. Hey, I noticed you were pretty down over here. You all right? Huh? That guy was yelling at you pretty loud, so I got kind of worried. Oh, you saw me get scolded by my boss, huh? Oh, how embarrassing. And he said something about you being a guide? Yes, I'm a tour guide with Chinatown Tours. I just recently moved to the city, but I have severe performance anxiety, and, well, I'm always messing up. All the other new girls are doing really well while I'm out here making a total fool of myself. My senpai's usually around to help me, but she was out sick today. I tried doing it by myself, but it was a total disaster. Oh, so that's why your boss was yelling at you. Yes. And if I mess up again, I might lose my job. That's rough. And that's not the only thing. My parents are going to be at my next one. They wanted to see me shine, so they flew all the way out here. And you don't want to look bad in front of your parents. That definitely adds some pressure. That's why I have to do well on this next one. But I don't have a lot of time. It's just gonna be another train wreck without my senpai's help. What should I do? Yeah, that's a real drag. There's gotta be something you can do. I know this is sudden, but... I have something I need to ask you. What's that? Would you be willing to help me in my next Chinatown tour? Uh, me? I know I'm being unreasonable, but do you think you could? Just having someone around would be a big help. You're asking me for help like I'm some kind of Chinatown expert. I'm kind of not. I'll be informing everyone about each stop we visit on the tour. I just need you to chime in any time I get nervous and clam up. Uh... You're the only person I can turn to at this point. Won't you please help? And of course, I'll make sure you're rewarded too. All right, fine. I'll sure as hell try. Oh, thank you, mister. I know we've only just met, but I'm incredibly grateful for how kind you've been. My name is Ayami Ishida. Nice to meet you, Ayami. I'm Kasuga. Kasuga-san, pleased to meet you. Okay, let me fill you in on the places we'll be visiting. I'll simulate the tour with these pictures, so let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, sure thing. Thank you again. Okay, first, take a look at this picture. This here is the entrance to Chinatown. This magnificent gate is called the Pai Fong, and it's a staple of traditional Chinese architecture. Pai Fong, huh? That's a first for me. It's said that a red dragon lies within the Pai Fong, acting as its guardian. It watches over Chinatown from the gate, ensuring there's peace in the community. A red dragon, huh? That's perfect for Chinatown. Chinatowns are often associated with the color red, too. Okay. Next, I'll explain the stalls that line the street. Even in Chinatown, the street is lined with many well-known stores. And in our tour, we'll be going to the meat bun shop with the blue sign. They're known for their ultra-packed super bun. Pretty fancy. The meat bun is so incredibly large, it's nearly the same size as a soccer ball. You should give it a try sometime, Kasuga-san. Okay, on to the next place. This will be the final stop on the tour. The Swine Latong Statue. It's said to be the god that presides over all the food in Chinatown. Swine Latong? It's called Swine Latong because it's a play on both Swan Latong, Chinese hot and sour soup, and the pork often used in the recipe. Wow, that's, uh, unique. 
There's a very interesting legend regarding this adorable swine latong. Rub the swine latong's right ear four times before you leave Chinatown, and you'll encounter delicious food wherever you go. Rub its right ear four times. Am I supposed to be taking notes? The paint is starting to chip on its right ear, so use that to help you remember. Okay, that covers it. Think you'll be okay, Kasuka-san? This is tough. But it sounds like you've got it all down, Ayami. Mm, well, when is the real thing? I worry too much about messing up, and oh, my mind sort of goes blank. Still, I want to show my parents that I can stand on my own two feet. So I'll do my best. I have some things to do before the tour, so I'll be waiting in front of the Tayo Gate on Chinatown Way. All right, I'll see you later. Well, we should probably uh, go catch up to her before uh, she starts the tour without us. We get time. I'm gonna go to sleep for 10 days. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, I don't think I've ever seen one of those Python gates in real life that wasn't red. Yeah. Like this one being blue is really throwing me off. I mean, I don't think the entire thing needs to be red, does it? I, I guess not, but uh, I don't know, I'm just so used to seeing them entirely red. It's weird. <laughs> Alright, Chaos, you're getting performance anxiety. You can just hit A. Or X. Uh, uh, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm not ready. <sighs> this is a little dramatic for uh, freezing up on the spot. <laughs> See, I also do this in real life, but I use it as a <laughs> way to like make everybody else in the group feel comfortable. How's that work out? Presently well. Hmm. Hey. I'll have to keep that in mind. Their anxiety goes down because they all laugh at me, and then I turn into the mega champ tour guide, but uh it's a thing afterwards. <laughs> it's called breaking the ice, Chaos. Ah, hmm. I see, I see. Hmm, you better be taking notes. I'll give these up for free. <laughs> Anyways, please support me on Patreon and Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> She's giving the weirdest face there. Yeah. Like halfway between like Hawk and a Loogie, you know? <laughs> No, I really feel like they should have put in the effort to actually voice act this one, just because maybe then you could like get, show someone no. a video of this and uh, use it as like a virtual tour to the <laughs> actual Yokohama chi Chinatown. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how effective that would be, but you know. Sorry. I mean, at worst, like, it's not like they couldn't have used, I don't know, maybe some of, like, the cutting floor, uh, cutting, uh, yeah, the, the, the cutting room floor tapes that, like, uh, if, if your VA got nervous at some point or just, like, flubbed their lines, like, you know, stuff that in there and just have 
I was gonna be like, uh, you know, or off or something. <laughs> Okay, what what animal is uh is a protector sheep. in Chinese sheep. culture? Sheep. Um, yeah. Uh, what, what color was the sheep? Blue. Yeah, wait, Blue no, sheep white. of Chinatown. Ah, Got it. Wait. Mary had a little. Damn it, that's not a sheep. <laughs> Right, so I don't actually know what happens in this one if you pick any of the wrong answers. I just can never bring myself to do so. We have enough pity for, her, for Ayami in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's got it rough enough. And her parents are here, too. That's right. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of her parents. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Passion. Mm-hmm. Yes. Really? Not like intellect? <laughs> or whatever that one was? Even like charisma oh, this... would be a better choice. Yeah. Also, look, this guy's red. It's Odenbori. Hang on, oh. I, didn't I didn't know we were in Osaka. Ayami, I don't see a meat bun shop. Once in a while, I get these moments where you know we're, we're doing this, we're helping people out, and just trying to save someone's job, and I'm getting PTSD <laughs> from my actual work. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Here, ha have a pork bun. That that'll probably help. It, right? You know, it probably it probably would. I wish I had a pork bun. <laughs> and you know what they say: a man is not a true man without a pork bun. This is true. <laughs> That's why when I get kids at 18, they will get their first pork bun. <laughs> Can't believe you're gonna deprive them of pork buns for 18 years. Look, I figure the first six is an easy mulligan. <laughs> you're probably not wrong on that, but <laughs> after that. <laughs> Quick, look at the menu. I mean, I'm just gonna duck over to that shop real quick. I really want to buy that mascot head. <laughs> you got, you can take him here, right? Uh, ultra super pack bun. No, it's the ultra packed super bun. Uh, look, <laughs> try having the guy behind the counter argue with that. Then stare at him and be like, "All right, I guess we'll take our business somewhere else." I didn't realize the super bun was elsewhere. Yes, but what does it do to my soul? It makes you four times the man you were before you had the bun. <laughs> Can't remember if what it was, but I've it was either a pork bun or like a, a soup dumpling, but I've had one like the size of one of those like steamer baskets. 
I can honestly say it wasn't that good. <laughs> like, it, because it was so big, we had to cook it longer, and yeah. that just makes the, the meat dry out, and that just makes it not great to eat. Mm. So the lesson here is, when it comes to, f to meat, bigger is not necessarily better. Well, uh, come on. Yeah, so it's not, uh, you know, it's not, not taking many conclusions here. it's so smooth and shiny because it's tasty ah tasty it like sweat, the food uh, in guards yeah it must sweat pork soup <laughs> okay. all right time to try that before going to end them <laughs> Sir, you seem to be having the most mild reaction to being burnt I've ever seen. You also have a very dry jacket. <laughs> uh, it happened off screen, on my pants. Mm. Quite. Sir, I bought an iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, this is a Tim Hortons drive through Please pull up the window too to pay. Guy, you spilled coffee all over. I'm gonna need 15 um, million to uh, to make this right. That's right. 
<laughs> I'd make one million of that payable to uh the the this, the the tour company. Anyway, surprise, we gotta fight him. I, at some point I swapped Aerie over to the uh, the DLC Matriarch class. It's alright, it's primarily single target uh, high damage, I guess. It does have a uh, cross class gun skill though, which is really nice. Considering how rare gun damage is uh, for anyone really. <laughs> Kinda sucks that it's DLC only, but you know. Honestly though, I think the cross-class gun skill alone makes the uh, Matriarch the better of the two DLC classes. Right. We'll, we'll talk about Devil Rocker later, I guess. But I don't like it very much. You're a wuss. You just never understood the appeal of Kiss. I, it's not that I don't understand the appeal of KISS, I just think the class itself kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's better than Berser uh, not Berserk, not Bodyguard, uh, but I don't know. I could do something else with my character rather than have a Devil Rocker. <laughs> supposed to go all Devil Rocker and then just start a concert instead of fight people. Now, if you could do that, that would be awesome. Thank you for joining us on our tour today. I'm sure there are a few times I made a mistake or two. And for that, I apologize. No, no. It was a lot of fun going around Chinatown like that. Thank you. That big bully guy was really scary. But you were so cool. You didn't flinch one bit. Oh, no. I squeaked like a mouse. I was super scared. <laughs> You're funny, miss. Oh, miss. What was the name of that pig we saw at the end? The Swine Latong. It's a new specialty here in Chinatown. They say you'll be blessed with delicious food after rubbing its ear. That's right, Swine Latong. That thing's so cute. I want to get a phone strap or something. If you're looking for those, they sell them at the shop near the entrance, so by all means, please stop by. Thank you so much. Do you feel like you got any better at guiding people today, miss? Actually, you know what? I'm not nervous anymore. Hey, that's great. Well, thank you, everyone. That's it for the tour. Yeah, thank you. Bye. For bye. Kasuka-san, thank you so much for today. You really know how to fight. Wow, that's pretty much all I'm good at. But forgive me. Great job standing up to that gorilla, Ayami. I was really scared at first, but when I thought about protecting my customers, I didn't feel so afraid anymore. Right? Dependable, cool, and most importantly, able to create the best memory for all the customers. That's why I came here. That's the kind of tour guide I want to be. That's really great. I'd say you were four for four on that, Ayami. The tour customers looked like they were having a lot of fun, and your dad and mom were both impressed too. You think so? Oh, I'm so glad. It's really all thanks to you, Kasuka-san. It's because you worked hard, Ayami. You've got some great parents. <laughs> well, I'm going out with them tonight, so I'll be sure to treat them well. Oh, right. I'd like you to have this, Kasuka-san. All right then. I hope to see you again sometime. <sighs> okay. Time to head back. Um, excuse me. Huh? Sorry to bother you. I'm Ayami's mother. And I'm Ayami's father. Thank you so much for helping her today. 
No, I didn't do anything that special. Ayami worked hard because she knew you guys were coming. Well, that girl can be a little scatterbrained sometimes, but she does her best to be a good daughter. We were worried that all she might do was try to please us and that her performance would suffer because of it. That being said, we were very much relieved to see how well she did today. I never knew Hayami was so strong, nor that she could make others smile like that. My husband even cried he was so moved. Oh, come on. That's beside the point. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be an even better tour guide from now on. Every parent has to let their child fly solo at some point. And it helps that there's great guys like Kasuko-san out there, too. And just what is your relationship to our sweet Ayami, exactly, hmm? Oh, please, dear. Oh, right, that was rude of me. Kasuga-kun, was it? We'd like you to have this. I hope you'll be there for Ayami if she ever needs you again. <sighs> Good to see a family that's looking out for each other like that. Keep up the good work, Ayami. Each Bob, where are you looking? <laughs> also, we can hire her for our company, by the way. See, it's not mentioned anywhere, but in canon, she died, and he's just looking at her spirit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs>